Let's take a look at the new Carrier Light Commercial Package Rooftop that will begin production in later 2018 with other models and enhancements scheduled throughout 2019. The initial release in late 2018 will start by offering new and exciting gas heating, electric cooling, electric heating, electric cooling, and cooling only models. This will include a standard efficiency three to five ton lineup with 14 seer efficiencies, which is the minimum standard, and a six ton unit with an impressive 15.2 IEER efficiency rating. In addition to this, we will have high efficient three to five ton models at 16 seer, which is planned to replace the current 15 seer models. That is a full SEER point better in efficiencies and will help reduce operating costs and possibly meet utility rebates. An important note to make before we go any further. Package heat pumps, 575 volt, low NOx gas and energy recovery ventilators models will be coming in 2019. Now let's take a look at some great features and benefits on these new models. First, you'll appreciate that these new models be in the same base unit design and footprint as past models. The gas heat exchangers are in the same location. The control boxes are in the same location they've always been. This helps to reduce service, maintenance, and installation time, but also provides an original fit for all of our past installed rooftops. Some other noticeable cabinet design changes are, the condenser fan will be changing from a 22 inch diameter design to a 23 inch diameter design to help get more air through the condenser coil and increase efficiencies. The 5-ton 14 seer model, one of the industry's most popular sizes, will be going from today's 41-inch tall cabinet down to an impressive 33 inches. That's a whopping 20% reduction in cabinet height. Something else to mention is the actual outdoor fan blade. We will be going to a new 5-blade design, but we will be using high-impact composite material instead of the 3-blade galvalum design we've had in the past. This, along with a diameter increase, helps obtain better efficiencies with quiet operation. Now let's remove some panels so we can take a closer look at some other features on this new unit. On the refrigerant coils, we are staying with our proven round tube plate fin coil design that uses round copper tubes and aluminum plate fins. The condenser coil we have been using is a 3 8 inch diameter copper tube design, but on these models, will be going to the 5 16th inch diameter copper tubes. This will help reduce the amount of refrigerant charge in the unit. The evaporator coils will be staying 3 8 inch diameter copper tubes along with the aluminum plate fin design. For compressors, on the 14 seer models from 3 to 5 tons, we will be using a fully hermetic single scroll compressor with single stage cooling capability. On a 6 ton unit, it will be a single scroll compressor but it will have two stages of cooling, and that's going to help us get the 15 plus IER efficiency rating that well exceeds today's efficiency standards. <laughs> In fact, the new six ton unit already meets the Department of Energy's IER requirements slated for 2023. The 16 SEER models from three to five tons will also have a fully hermetic single scroll compressor but we'll also have two stages of cooling that are helping us get to that 16 seer level. Now it's important to recognize and pay attention to the fact that everywhere we have two stages of cooling, it will require that a two-stage cooling thermostat be used. And if you require an economizer, an economizer X is needed to provide proper ventilation per codes. The great news with the two stages of cooling is we've integrated the indoor fan speed into the base unit controls. So the fan and compression stages are synchronized, all without the use of a variable speed drive. Let's go ahead and turn the unit around so we can take a look at the heating, controls, and other features. On the gas section, it's important to know that we're going to keep all the same multiple heat stages available to you. That's a high, medium, and low offering. We're also going to keep the same accessory kit for your LP and your high altitude kits. One very important thing to note, because of new agency test standards, the output capacity on some of your heat stages are going to change slightly. We thought it would be best to do this now instead of having to make them down the road. And also, we've located the thermal safety switch here 
for your gas heat on the outside of the panel now versus within the heating section. This is to meet new standards and to meet new airflow patterns. On the electric heat side, very important to understand we are changing the accessory kit numbers to accommodate the new unit. It's also equally important to know they are not backward compatible. In other words, the new electric heaters will not work on the old units and vice versa. And lastly, the single point kits are going to remain the same as you have today. Now, up to this point, we've shown you a lot of great changes like new condenser coils, new outdoor fan designs, heat sections, electric sections. But the most innovative and beneficial design we've ever done in the small package rooftop so far is going to be your new indoor fan system. We have literally taken the older belt drive design that you have been using for so many years now and we have developed a new vane axial fan design with high efficient ECM motor technology. What you see here is an aluminum cast frame and this is a composite airflow fan and fan shroud. This is the innovative vane axial fan. This is an industry first. It is patent pending. This is in your new designed units as standard. The good thing about this compared to the belt drives, there are no pulleys, no belts. There are no blower shafts or blower bearings. The size is a lot smaller than the belt drive systems which went all the way to the top of the cabinet. A lot less weight and requires a lot less space too. One of the biggest benefits we see in this new vein axial design over the older belt drive designs is 75% fewer moving parts. That means higher reliability, fewer service parts, and less complication. So again, vein axial standard. You still have your high static, medium static, low static options, but this is innovation at its best. This is going to provide you everything you had and much more. Although this innovative and patent pending standard vein axial is very important, something else that rolls into this as well is you can't have this type of design and not have a controller to set things up. That's why we have also upgraded your base unit control board as you see here. Now this upgraded unit control board is very similar to what you had for many years, but we've added a new element to it and the new element is this section right here where you see the switch and the rotary dial. All of this in this specific area is there for you to go in and adjust the motor speed very easily. No more pulling off the blower panel, changing or adjusting sheaves, adjusting belts. What you simply do here is rather easy. Each unit will come with a unit specific fan to voltage table and a setup label like this. What you do is take your voltage meter, turn it to DC voltage and plug it or clip it onto these two terminals right here. Now when you do that, you come over to this chart and it'll provide you with a CFM to external static to voltage DC relationship. So an example would be 1750 CFM at 1.2 inch. That's 9.5 voltage DC. The first thing you do is you select the switch and the switch for this one would be C. So you go over to the switch and turn it to C. And then your voltmeter will read something close. Then use this pot to fine tune it to get the exact voltage that you need from this table. And then you are done. The only thing we see the field may want to do is just write the voltage that was on their initial field setting right here. And then you're all set. Again, you don't have to pull off blower panels like you used to or use a strobe light. They are no longer needed as all is done with the new board now. That's really the big change with this board to accommodate the new vane axial fan. Let me wrap up by telling you about our new accessories and options that are going into this new product. Because of coil changes, you'll have new hail guard accessory numbers. Same louver design as today's, just different part numbers. 
we will have a new low ambient control. This is a nice little control that will be offered as an option on some models and as a field accessory on others. One low ambient control will work for all voltages. Note that a condenser motor change is still needed. We already talked about the electric heat being different, and as an additional note, the through the base kits will also be updated. For factory options, we're going to be adding a phase loss monitor protection switch, MERV-8 filters, and finally, we are going to combine supplier smoke detector and condensate overflow switch that you didn't have before. And for those using two-stage cooling models, remember what I mentioned earlier, you need a two-stage cooling thermostat. Economizer X will be required from the factory. You'll still be able to do other economizers in the field, but factory will be Economizer X. As for unit-mounted controls, in addition to the standard electromechanical controls, we'll be offering system view and RTU open on these models, and we will not be offering Premier Link or Comfort Link as in the past. There you have it. A brand new small light commercial package rooftop. Innovative, exclusive to you, and without changing the footprint, so it's great for the replacement market and that original fit. We have increased the efficiency without changing the cabinet sizes. The vein axial fan will provide you and everyone using it with great benefits. Look for more exciting information as it becomes available. And thanks.